Hi, in this video we are going to solve an intermediate level SQL problem. So let's begin. Uh, in order to practice our SQL skills, we need to head to sqlpractice.com. This is the website we will be using. Then we need to click on hospital DB and then click on view all questions. We need to select difficulty medium and we need to scroll down until we see the problem which says Show patient ID, attending doctor ID, and diagnosis for admissions that match one of the two criteria. We select that one, then we get rid of this, and we can begin solving our SQL problem. Okay, so we can take a look at the table, uh, the table admissions. So we can see here some, we can see here some columns, like example, admission date, discharge date, etc. We can see some uh, the expected output. So this is the output our query uh, should return. If we get if we click on get hit again, we can see some solution keywords. So the website suggests us to use select, where, in, land, and like. So these are just some of the keywords you can use. And if we click on get hit again, we can see a portion of the solution. So you can see this uh, is showing some lines of code we can use to solve this problem okay so i suggest to you or and i encourage uh, you to do it first on your own by yourself try it and uh, give it a try and if you are stuck or are or if you are unable to continue or don't know how to approach this uh, problem we can do it we can do it together step by step okay so let's do it together first we need to understand the problem so in this case I'm going to read the problem once more and try to understand it. So it says show patient ID, attending doctor ID, and diagnosis from admission for admissions that match one of the two criteria. Okay, the first criteria is patient ID is an odd number and attending doctor ID is either 1, 5, or 19. The second criteria is attending doc doctor ID contains a 2 and the length of patient ID is 3 characters. Okay, so seems complicated, but let's break it down. First, it says show patient ID, attending doctor, and diagnosis for admissions. Okay, we can begin by doing that. So we are going to use the select statement, and it already give us is it is already giving us the name of the column. So you can see patient ID. I can I have patient ID here, attending doctor ID. I have the same. So I'm just going to type those. So select patient ID, comma, attending doctor ID, comma, and diagnosis. And I need to uh, select the table from admissions. And now I can begin uh, looking at the two criteria. So the first one, patient ID is an odd number. Okay, so I need to say where. patient ID is an odd number. So what is an odd number? Odd number is um, like one, three, five, seven, etc. But I cannot just type uh, where patient ID equals one or three or five or seven or because you know uh, we can write infinite numbers because patient the patient ID could be a very high a very large number. So instead, to find odd numbers in SQL, we need to do the following. We need to do this, use the percentage sign, and then two, and then we need to do this. Okay, so what is going on here? So what I'm saying is that, um, I need to find those numbers which uh, divided by two doesn't have a reminder of zero. So for example, if I do this uh, four divided by two, if I ro just run this selection, oh, sorry, if I say select, Okay, 
if I do this operation, you can see that 4 divided by 2 is 2. Okay? And doesn't have a reminder because or the reminder is 0 because it is a whole number. But instead, if I do 4 divided by 3, it's 1 point something. Uh, you, you know the idea. So this is why 4 it's uh, an even no it's an even number because divided by 2 it's divisible by 2 and it gives uh, a whole number okay so instead 5 divided by 2 if i do this for example 5.0 divided by 2 it's going to give me 2.5 so the reminder is 0.5 okay but 4.0 divided by 2 gives me a, a whole a whole number 2 only 2 not 2.1 2.5 or whatever so that's what i'm telling the sequel here uh, to sequel here so i need you to divide uh, everything every patient number by two okay and if that remind uh, the reminder uh, or the remain number it's not zero so if it's point five point whatever so don't give me those patient uh, id numbers so in this in this case it's going to be uh it's going to be the 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 ones sorry the the it's not so it's going to be the two the fours the six and so on okay so i need to show only the odd numbers not the if i if i delete this it's going to show all the uh even number so if i run this you can see patient id 6 8 10 16 18 20 22 24 26 40 okay so you can see i can i get only even numbers but if i say it's not equal to zero i get odd numbers so you can see patient id 1 3 7 9 21 35 etc Okay, so we got our first criteria and okay but also says it's and it's either 1 5 or 19 the attending doctor id so i need to do that by saying and Attending doctor ID in one five or nineteen. So the attending doctor ID needs to be either one like this one, nineteen, this one, or five. So if I run this, you can see that only odd patient ID numbers appear and only attending doctors with uh, ID with an ID number of nineteen, one, or five. Okay, but we are not done yet. We only covered one criteria. But the second criteria says uh, the attending doctor ID contains a two and the length of patient ID is three characters. Okay, so but it but okay, so we we can uh, meet the criteria by saying attending oops doctor ID contains a two in inside the, the ID. So it has a, a, a two in the number. So I can say like, and I need to place two wildcards because I want the number two to be in whatever position or in whatever place in the, in the ID, in the number. Okay. And the length of patient ID and the length patient ID is three characters 
okay so uh, this is the second criteria so for example if I do this and I run this part of the query mm, Oops, from admissions. Okay. Ah, sorry. I need to say where attending doctor ID like. So if I run this query, I get the second criteria. So the attending doctor ID contains a two, for example, 22, 21, 2, 25. Oh, so there is a two in the in the ID. And the patient ID is three characters, so only three characters, like 100 and and further. So now I need to combine these two criteria, and the question says that it needs to match either one of the two criteria. So it's either so it match uh, either this criteria or this criteria. So to do that, I just need to combine them by using or and now I can just close this inside parentheses so that uh, I know that it needs to be either this or this one and if I run the query and I just format it so that it looks uh, better we got the query Correct. So you can see this is a, a little bit more complicated uh, query to solve. But at the end, uh, we got it correctly and we solve it step by step with the explanation. So if you find this video useful, don't forget to follow back and I'll see you in the next one.